class is now in session. I am Professor Hockey, and today we're discussing some San Jose Sharks news, and that is that they have signed forward Philip Zadina to a one-year deal worth $1.1 million. And this is a pretty interesting and honestly rather exciting deal because this is a move that is extremely low risk but also relatively high reward for the San Jose Sharks. And it also gives an extra bit of like spice, I guess you could say, to a Sharks lineup that desperately needs it. And this is also a cool move because Zadina isn't just some random player that the Sharks are bringing in in free agency, but a player who theoretically could still have some really good potential in his game if he he can get some things sorted out and his story starts all the way back in 2018 that is now five years ago at this point at the NHL entry draft the consensus first overall pick that year was defenseman Rasmus Dallin to the Buffalo Sabres and the second overall pick was Andrei Sveshnikov to the Carolina Hurricanes but many people many scouts coming into this draft thought that Zadina would be the third overall choice and head over to Montreal but for a combined sense of circumstances many teams ended up going off the board and not taking Zadina, the Canadians would take Kotkaniemi, the Senators would take Kachuk, and the Coyotes would take Barrett Hayton, and the Detroit Red Wings at 6th overall would end up picking up Philip Zadina. Now, technically, there could be something that some of those teams knew about Zadina that maybe Detroit and others did not, but the Red Wings really thought that they had an absolute steal at that point, and I imagine fans of the teams in front of the Red Wings in that draft were disappointing to have not disappointed to have not taken Zadina who was rather hyped up prior to that draft and yet the Red Wings didn't really end up with the type of player that they were hoping for obviously for even a third overall pick you're giving them a good two three years in the NHL before you try and get something really good out of them but Zadina has had many many looks with the Red Wings and to be fair that team has been bad but also to be fair the Sharks are also bad so it's not as though Zadina is getting that change of a scenery he's going from a bad team to another bad team but it's been five years since that point and Zadina while he has had seasons that could be considered decent definitely wouldn't be considered decent for a third overall and so he's been kind of viewed as a bust at this point and this current offseason the Red Wings have actually bought out his contract and it was only worth 1.9 million dollars so for a team like the Red Wings to buy that out is pretty telling of the sort of Uh, type of value that they were expecting from Zadina and yet were not getting from him and so like I said a pretty risk-free deal for Mike Greer signing just a single year at 1.1 million dollars obviously the maybe somewhat realistic scenario is that this doesn't really work out Zadina puts up like a 25 30 point season the Sharks think that they could technically re-sign him but maybe they don't want to and they just move on from him and their sharks are no worse for wear because of that but in the potentially very high uh, value type of scenario in a best case scenario the sharks could end up with a player who actually does begin to live up to that third overall potential puts up like 45 50 points maybe plays a bit with couture and hurdle on those top two lines ends up being a solid power play threat for the san jose Sharks because that is something that he did at the very least still have at least a bit of in Detroit and he ends up being someone the Sharks could sign more long term because the fact is is even though he has been in the NHL for multiple years now he started quite early on in his career as a third overall draft pick meaning right now he's only 23 years of age so even if you sort of in a worst case scenario where you're planning on the Sharks to be competitive in like four years from now Zadina would realistically still be young enough to contribute on that Sharks team so theoretically the Sharks might be able to get an actual long-term player here the odds aren't particularly high for that actually happening but you never know and so this is a really solid deal from Mike Greer I definitely enjoy it I'm interested to see how he gets integrated into the lineup and hopefully things do pan out but if they don't like I said it's not the end of the world class dismissed